And as you can see, there's very little space between uh, vehicles. And because there's no law or anything, what happens? Oh, this guy's going down the wrong side of the road. Basically, these guys do anything they can to sneak into the uh, path. And so... Andy Graham, I, I, I realize that I'm, I'm relatively fearless, which is not good. I admit that I'll be okay, but I've decided that the motorcycle taxis are, I, I just am not willing to put the risk of a baby in the, yeah, baby on the back of that the motorcycle. I'm, I'm not willing to risk, risk my life by giving somebody in Africa that never learned that, you know, you need to have two car lengths for every 10 miles an hour, I shouldn't be able to touch it, they need to come, come to a complete stop. Basically, they're just the rules of the jungle. Whichever person forces their way through is it. And, and I can do that, but what I decided to do is uh, the mission creep is I would go buy a car, buy a motorcycle on my own. I already did that in Africa. Then I buy a car. The next thing I know, my life is just like America, and I'm screwed up everything. Um, to enjoy Africa, <laughs> you don't need mission creep. You just need to try to find a solution where the very dangerous things you can circumvent. Uh, and traffic is a difficult one. So what I've done now is I only take a I only take a motorcycle in the neighborhood where there's no cars really and sometimes on straight stretches but I won't allow them to go to on the major highways or on the on any major intersection because at the intersections where it's dangerous, right? You can see that there's two two motorcycles trying to cross here at the same time, and they basically just shoot across. So if that motorcycle stalls, does anything, we're dead meat, right? And the cars, look at these cars. They go faster. The cars go faster than the motorcycle, and they're basically forcing their way through. It's not really the motorcycles you end up going to get killed on, but it's the cars. And the NGO cars are the most dangerous of anything because, but see, this guy is just probably going to just like start coming across and force everybody to stop. But it, it, it's just a Charlie Fox shot. But this is life in uh, most of the developed planets. Here comes the University of Carabus, and you'll look at it. It's coming faster. It's coming faster than the motorcycle, and it's ten times more dangerous. So the cars have least respect, so it's adapt. Basically, one thing you do, you do with Freud said is we have to adapt. So I adapt. I stop and I walk. Simple. I don't take the, the aggressive macho way to it. I, I do the simple thing. I'm here to explore Africa. I'm not here to see how fast I can do it. Tonight, let's flip a coin.